That was what's happening, man. It's your boy, Papa Duck, man. Listen, um, I know y'all been seeing what's going on with this war. Bro, it blow my mind, dog. Blows my fucking mind, dog, to see this happening. And it's all because a group of people, greed, want to control everything, want to control all the resources that God put here for all of us. Then you got motherfuckers funding both sides of wars, bro. They are the devil. These motherfuckers is the devil, bro. You see, if you look and you see at this is it, um is a is a Israeli uh concert or festival, man, these people getting gunned down, dog. Imagine, imagine your your daughter, your son, your mama being shot at, kidnapped. Bro, just to hear the screams, bro. The burnt cars. Dog, this this ain't life. Man, God ain't put us here for this, bro. But I keep telling y'all, dog, this you talking about a totalitarian government. You talking about a group of people want to own all resources of the world. Ain't nobody life worth that, bro. When you see these hospitals, dog, the, the body bags, the kids. The, the the bombs. This ain't life, dog. This ain't life, bro. Like it really messed me up, bro, to see that. You get what I'm saying? These motherfucker kidnapping people, dog. Imagine that's your people. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, dog, we living in a, 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 a in a world full of greed. We talking about a snake eating its tail till it, it consumes itself. You get what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't what it is. Dog, y'all got to see it, dog. And, and, and the thing about it though, I don't understand how a group of people can be this barbaric. That's why I tell you, ain't nothing on the ground, man. The devil's right there in front of your face. I've done plenty of videos about this shit. These same people want to control your water. You heard what the, the president of Nestle said? He said that water shouldn't, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have access to water. Who the fuck is him to say that? Who the hell is Bill Gates to say we shouldn't eat this and we should eat that? Fake meat, all kind of, bro, these are some sick fucking people, dog. Sick. When you think of sick, you think of throwing up. You think of, you know, you ain't feeling right. No. When you got a mind like that to, to to see God's creation be used as projects or be used as test dummies. You know what I'm saying? Giving us all this sickness, lying to us, miseducating us, bro. This this world can be fucked up, bro. And I'm 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 serious. I know it's the people in it, but when I seen that, just researching that, bro, it blow my mind. It blow my mind, cause all I could think about it, like, what if that, what if, what if there's somebody you close to? You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't cool, bro. Like, I couldn't believe that something like that can happen, or happening. It's going on right now, nigga. On God green earth, big in the head, blowed off, big and kicked out, snatched up, and they don't tell her what else. Sometimes I just wonder, what the fuck are we born for? Sometimes I be thinking like that. What what the purpose of us being born? Bro, we've been lied to our whole life by religion, food, <laughs> just everything. Man, these people done gave us a fucking false reality, though, that we live by. Got us going crazy over material stuff. Lying about everything. And it's getting worse with artificial intelligence. I'm telling y'all, man. Man, I feel for them people going through that, man. I feel for them, dog. You got to go see it, man. You got to see it for yourself, man. That's crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I do wonder sometimes, like, what the, what the hell we here for, man? What's what's the purpose? If a bitch ain't going to lie to us, a bitch ain't going to kill us, a bitch ain't going to... You know, put dope in the streets and then when we start using it, they lock us up for it. 
putting us in situations with no resources, knowing we're going to commit crime, knowing we're going to kill each other, we're going to argue, we're going to, come on, bro, what's the fucking purpose? So I say sometimes, dog, it gets to me. All that keep, keep, keep playing and shit, all that shit, it, it gets to me. Like, what's the purpose, bro? Because I, I I wouldn't want that on nobody, dog. To not know where your daughter at. Or what's being done to her. Or your, your family being held hostage for what? Bitch. God put everything on, on earth for all of us to enjoy. The fuck? What's the purpose, bro? That's all I really want to know. We're not here to wear Jordans and go to football games and attend shit like that. Dumb shit. We're not here for that, bro. But what are we here for? It's the purpose. You feel me? And I send my condolences out to them, to, to the families over there that's going through what they're going through, bro. Because I can't fathom that happening to nobody. You know what I'm saying? And we don't think about that shit till it come knocking on our front door. Because if a war ever came this way, man, we ain't prepared. But we see what's going on. We see we a, we, 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 we living under a government that don't give a fuck about us, bro. But we still participate in it. We still going to these fucked up schools. We still allowing them to dictate what we eat and don't eat. A totalitarian government. I done a video earlier today. I told you what totalitarian means. You don't have no right, nigga. You just born to obey. That's it. And the crazy part is, nigga, white people starting to scratch their head like, hmm, this ain't just by niggas no more. We all under the same dictatorship. We been under it. They just used white people to do their dirty work. The KKK, they used them. They were the watchdogs. They wasn't shit. But now they don't need them no more. Guess what? I told you. When they abolished slavery, 13th Amendment, they didn't abolish no damn slavery. All they did was transfer it from being private to public. And this is why when you go to prison, your ass state property you was a you was a slave nigga as a white man black man puerto rican mexican motherfucking uh 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 all the cans you a slave homie and you a damn fool if you think different and i'm, I'm ready to challenge you so pull your head out your ass a lot of people that's what i don't like neither a lot of people play stupid and dumb I man get your dumb ass out of the way you got to be stupid not to see this. And at this point, bro, we running out of time, man. I don't have, no, none of us have time to be trying to show people what they see. Bitch, you either don't see it or you don't want to see it. But how you see everything up but you can't see this? I love y'all. But I mean that. And that's why I don't get on here with all that flogging and all the other shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to do more of my work than anything. But that's fucked. It's messed up, man. What's happened to us as a people. You know what I'm saying? Damn what they tell us. Look at what you see. You feel me? Look what you see. Damn what they tell us on, in school. On the, You know, what do you see? Nothing changes. Nothing. Like I say, man, I love y'all. Be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Use this. You got to be a thinking man or a thinking woman. Use this. And just understand, man, this shit can come knocking on our door at any day to where America is on the wall. You feel me? People say what they want to say. But you ain't just, just because they ain't shooting bombs and shit and over here don't mean we not at war. We at war every day. Every day. So with that being said, I send my condolences to all the families. I don't care on what side. 
all the innocent people. Fuck all the ones who's involved in the war. Fuck them with all the innocent people on both sides. Families on both sides. Who lost somebody. Who, who somebody been kidnapped, man. I send my condolences to y'all, man. With that being said, man. Like I tell you, man. In order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I love y'all. And I'll holler at y'all on the next one, man.